day, January 24th, 2021. An update. Uh, I have the motor car out on a private run on a local railroad. They gave me permission to be able to ride it. Uh, the Beaver car was out last weekend and I did run into a few problems, some fuel issues, but uh, they've been resolved. It was a bad fuel pump. So we have it running right now. I just made a trip about a mile down the track and I'm gonna turn it so you can see how this thing turns. So now the pump's turned on and we align ourselves with some, with some high. Come down, gotta move up a little bit. You can hear the alarm, it's gonna get loud in a second. Put the car up a little bit, we'll put the turn table down, you can see it going down. Then we come up, bring it up, and then we can spin the car. You can see how easy it is to spin. You hear the warning alarm. That's a requirement so that you know if the turntable's not down all the way, or not up all the way, so you don't cause a derailment. And we'll set it down. Lock. Now. Minute for the 
fans just line up with the inside of the rails. Come around. Carefully drop it back down again. So here's the front end. The ditch lights are down in the toolbox. They're activated by either the air horn or the, the electric horn. Give it a toot, I'll come around, and they'll flash. So that was not functioning when I first got the car. There were some electrical issues that's fixed now. And then the lights, the ditch lights stay on in a steady. Anyway, I'd like to give you some more shots, but my riders left, so, and I'm not allowed to operate the camera while I'm operating the car, so that's about it for now. Thanks, guys.